Alright, Shalawam. Shalawam. Shalawam, brothers. All praises. You know, to Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahasham. Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Raka Kodash. And as always, you know, we want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. You know, that rule well. And uh, Shalawam to the hopeful elect teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth, in the hopes that we may edify and feed the flock in the lands of Yahweh Shai, especially in, in these last days. And you know, I'm just, um, if we're just driving on the road, you know, we're coming, you know, we're just out of town at the moment, but hey, we're on the road, we're traveling, it's dark, man. You know, we're traveling at night, and as we're driving along the road, well, lo and behold, what do we see, man? <laughs> we said, hey, a chariot, bro. But it kind of was like, I mean, it was quick. Yeah, yeah. You know, the chariot shot past the night sky, man. It was like a, I don't know, like a, like a whitish type of blue. Yeah. Like kind of in color, man, but it was bright and it, man, and it just, man, that just, that's a faith boost, bro. Huh. The point is, that's a faith boost, man. And you know, hey, Elder Yashawamba, he just did a, a video with Elder Apostle Rakar. Yep. And he was talking about the chariots are here. The chariots are here. Yeah, the watching. angels, man, they're watching. Yep, yep. Hey, the scripture says the eyes of the Lord, yep. you know, are up. In fact, we can open with that. Huh. You know, about the eyes of the Lord. The, the, the Heavenly Father, you know, He's watching everything that we do, man. And guess what? He has care for His elect. You know, the Lord has... Hey, remember, the scripture says in Psalms 34 and 7, the angels of the Lord encampeth about them that fear Him and delivereth them. So, brothers, we have to walk with that, man. Walk with that faith. God. You know, earnestly contend for that faith. The faith that we've been given, which is a gift. Ephesians 2 and 8, man. Yep, yep. Yeah? Let's yep. go, bro. This is Second Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 9 mm -hmm. and it reads for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro Woo! throughout the whole earth Damn, I ain't heard that one in a long time yeah, yeah, God, yeah the yeah. eyes of the Lord you know that I read that again and that's kind of deep bro Can't. For the that's, eyes, what, that's what we see that's what we just seen we just seen that bro you know we just seen that you know brothers having you know we're having a holy conversation we're Can't. talking about Can't. the scriptures you know we're talking about you know things pertaining onto the Holy Spirit you know, and then seeing that, like the brother said, that's a massive faith boost, man. It kind of disappeared in the sky and it did and it just disappeared, man. Yep. You know, but we both saw it at exactly the same time. And you know, the Lord always has it where you, you just look where it is. Yeah. You know, the yeah, Lord has yeah, you yeah. look because the Lord wants you to see it. You know? That's how you know it's spiritual, man. And that was a chariot. No mistake in that. That was a chariot of yeah. Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, you know? Right over the motorway, man. Right over right the front, motorway. Right in front of the car. It just flew right over the motorway, bro. You know, hey, Brakata Yahaw Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rakak with dust, man. Hey, you know, the Lord shows us these things to boost our faith too, you know? Right, right. Because right. chariots are spiritual. They're not just like, they're not, oh, that's a satellite. No, bro. That's that's a that's a heavenly vehicle, man. Right. You know, that's the that's that's pretty much how we're getting up out here. Yeah. You know, on a on a on a ship, Yahweh Shai is coming with that fathership. Yep. They like to call it the mothership. No, he's coming with that fathership, man. Right. You know, we're going to be, you know, get caught up together in the Lord in the air. We can get all them scriptures, man. Because yes, yep, yep. this is the time that we're coming into. This is the testimony of Yahweh Shai, right, is the spirit of prophecy, prophecy. man. That's right. So we've got to speak about these prophecies. And one of the major prophecies that we're definitely looking for and waiting for is for the return of our Lord and Savior. And his name is Yahweh Shai, right. who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. Yep, yep. He's coming. Now is our salvation nearer yeah, than when we, we believe, believe, man. That's right. You know? So 2 Chronicles again, 16 and verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord, which the eyes of the Lord are what? The chariots. Mm -hmm. You know, the chariots of Yahweh Shimei Shai, man. Yeah, you know? which have angels in them. Which have angels in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, and, they and they report in everything, man. Yep. You know, they report in everything. Every good deed, every evil deed. That's right. They report in everything, man. And again, guess what? The, the Heavenly Father got counsel. He holds a counsel with the angels in heaven. On the right hand side and the left hand side, the scriptures tell you that, you know, who will go down and be a lion spirit. So you got angels on the left hand side that do the bidding of the Lord. You know, you, you think, hey, the Lord controls both sides. The deceived and the deceived that's, are his. That, he just, that's right, bro. That's right. Yep. The Lord said he created, look, he's got angels created for vengeance, man. You know, uh, spirits created for vengeance, God. which in their fury lay on them sore strokes. So them sore strokes, and them sore strokes are going out. And it's so called fucking Halloween, demonic. Halloween right now yep. You know You know that they're doing Sacrifices These elites do sacrifices And right now man The elites are seeing you know, The angels are seeing What the elites are doing too God. And that's being marked down too man Everything that these people Out here are doing Is being noted down man And this kingdom's going down Okay When you see the chariots That's the, that's a sign Of Esau's end Because that's a curse mm. 
that go up over the face of this whole earth, like the scripture says yep. in Zechariah, the fifth chapter. Yep, yep, yep. You know? That's it. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth mm -hmm. to show himself strong. Throughout the whole earth, man. Yep. You know? Throughout the whole earth. Okay, so the chariots are out there, man. We see that. And that's our, that, hey, that's our hope, man, of salvation to get up. We, we want to seat on that chariot, man. Yeah. We want to be up there. Like, you remember that song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot? Yeah. Coming forward yeah. to carry me yeah. home, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Mm. A band of angels coming for me. That's coming right. forward to carry me home. Right. We want to go home, man. Because this ain't, this ain't our home. This is hell. Yeah. You know? Where we're, where we're scattered, man. We in hell, we're prisoners of war. You know, and Yahweh Shai, remember the scriptures tell us in Jeremiah 30 and 11 that Yahweh Shai, you know, is going to ransom us from the hand of him that's stronger than that's stronger than us. Because Esau, the so-called white man, the wicked, he's stronger than us right now. He's got the drones. He's got the technology. Yep. You know, but guess what? That technology ain't going to have shit in comparison to what the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah is coming with. Yep. Or the tribe of Yahweh is coming with. You know, with the mighty angels, man, he's gonna lead the charge. Quick precept. Come, bro. You said this is not our home. Come. That's true. This is not our home, man. You know, the scriptures say that we have no continuing city, man. This is not where supposed where we're supposed to be established. You know, rested. You know, this is not where we're supposed to be. You know, setting our hearts mm. and our minds in, man. Not your rest. You know, this ain't our rest, man. Mm -hmm. So this is Micah two and verse ten. He says, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted." It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Mm -hmm. You know, so this place will destroy you. If you're invested in this kingdom and in the ways of this kingdom and in the full patterns of trying to, you know, be a part of this kingdom, you're gonna get destroyed, man. You know, we have to detach ourselves from the ways of this wicked kingdom, man. That's right. You know, the scriptures say, you know, no soldier that warreth entangleth okay. himself with the affairs of this right. life. The affairs of this life will get you killed, man. You know, being in a gray area will get you killed. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you're on, what you're about. You know, what are you striving for? Why are you involved in this ministry? ministry you know, right. what result are you trying to, are you trying to get delivered? You know, this is the, you know, the serious questions we got to ask ourselves, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, more importantly, as Elder Apostle Gabar always mentions, we have to pray without ceasing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to pray to you, how about Shimmy Shai, that we're sincere, you know, that we're being, you know, honest, you know, before the congregation, you know, in the ministry that we're doing the right thing. You know, we have to pray to Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai that we're being sincere components of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai and His truth and that we're representing the right way, man. That's a daily prayer. You know, the elder Yashawamba and the apostle, elder apostle um, Makar, you know, they're going into Psalms 51, man. You know, and we got to pray that. And if you can pray, you pray in the Hebrew, man. In the Lashawan Kodash, in the holy tongue, you know, because it's more effective, man. We gotta pray these things, man. We gotta, you know, make make it a ceremonial thing into our daily lives to pray these serious prayers, especially in these last days, man. Because we're in some real serious times, real serious times, real trying times, man. That's gonna test our faith. That's right. That's you know, right. you know what, bro? Get yeah. to Daniel twelve and one. Because you said we're in some real trying times. You know, and Daniel 12 and 1, that ties into it perfectly, man. Come on, come on, come on. You know, because our, hey, Jacob's trouble is on the horizon, man. And Esau, like, hey, he's stronger than us, like the scripture says, right? Yeah. He's stronger than us right now. He's got all the technology. He's coming He's coming with that, what, that great wrath. Because mm. he knows that he has but a short time. So we got to, you know, the scriptures speak about counting the cost, man. Yeah. yeah. Now's not the time to be getting entangled with the affairs of this life. Like the brother Yekanan was saying, you know, we know that James 4 and 4, and we ain't read that in a long time, but you know this. The adulterers and adulteresses know you know that the friendship of the world it's is enmity. enmity with the most high yep, man yep. so we got like you can't be making our bed in babylon man God. that don't make no sense man God, God, God. now he's a hey, rising in the part like you, you read just now yep. you know and the lord is not what he's not he's not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love that we show towards his name mm. in that we minister to the saints the word minister means to serve yeah so we always have to remember that we're servants of the lord man you know, we got and how we how do we serve servants minister to the saints, man? Who are the saints? The Israelites, man. That's right. What did Yahweh Shai say to Peter? He asked him three times, and by the th third time, it was the same question. Yeah. But by the third time, Peter got grieved. He said, "Look, do you love me?" Yeah. And Peter, like, by the third time, he said, "Feed my lamb, feed my sheep, right. feed my flocks." 
And that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Yeah. Keeping it simple, making it plain upon tables, you know, that he may run the read of it, man. Right. And when we took this truth, we took off. When we heard this truth, we took off. Yeah. We were, hey, this could just speak about what? Being a, uh, no one there for the terror of the Lord, but do we persuade men? Yeah, how was Shai is about to gate crash this party, man? Right, bro. You know, this right. orgy fest. This do these do as thou wilt us, these crab suckers. Yeah. You know, these shrimps, these shrimp gorgers, man. These uh, lobster crackers. Right. These guys love it. It's a delicacy. Ah, <laughs> lobster yeah, yeah, yeah. crab. You know, swine eaters. The Lord is about to destroy these people, man. You know? And we can't be getting caught up with the affairs of this life. You uh, you got it up. Come on, bro. This is Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. And it reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince. Hey, which... And let's go into that. Michael. Uh, what is the Hebrew word for Michael? Uh, Michael. Uh, Maya Ka'ala. All right, he who is like the power, right? And we know that the scriptures say that the Lord is a man of war. war. Mm. So if the Lord is a man of war, how is Michael coming back? He's coming back for war. Yeah. Yeah, how I, the conquering lion, he's coming back for war. He's a man of war. He's a man of war. Like and he's going to be leading the charge. Yeah, like father, like son. Yep. And he's going to be leading the charge, man. And Michael's going to be with him. The armies of heaven following him upon the white horses are going to be with him. Right. Overkill, man. That's how the Lord's coming back. Okay? You know, go on, bro. Yep, and it says, Michael, stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And who is the Lord's people, man? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Yeah. You know, for thou art unholy people unto the Lord, yeah. Yahweh thy power. Yeah. The Lord, Yahweh thy power, have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man. Right. So that just smashes that equality doctrine right there. Because we ain't equal to these heathens, man. Right. You know, and the Lord is going to show these heathens that, hey, the scripture says every eye shall see him. When they see you, I was shy, beaming up the elect, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the elect that are scattered. Mm. And having the, you know, they're going to have that, you know, even a, you're going to have the, uh, the speckled bird brothers, man. Yep. They're going to have their melanin, giving melanin back instant, new bodies, whatever. That's what's going to happen. The Lord's going to change us in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. And that's when they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. Right. Just like it says in the Apocrypha, man. So we've got great things to look forward to, man. Right. Lift up your heads, Arkham, for your redemption draweth nigh, man. Yeah. We just looked up and we saw a shooting chariot, bro. Yeah, yeah how was shy, hey, man? The Lord showed us that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It flew right over us, man. That's a, that's a faith boost. That's and it's right. been a very spiritual weekend, man. Very spiritual, we had a very man. spiritual uh, meeting uh, with, with, the, with the brothers, man. We fellowshiped. It was beautiful, man. And now we're heading back to town where we, we got things to do and that. Right. But guess what, man? Hey, we when you get around brothers, it's good to speak about how beautiful it is for brothers to dwell in unity, man. That's right. You know, and that's a good thing to be in unity. To be of one accord, man. You know, look at this demon, that's man. Right. That's, a, that's a Satan, bro. Satan. There's a second lorry. Yep. Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, man. And you know what? This, you know, when you see things like this, you know, when you have, you know, holy conversation with brothers, you know what? It encourages you. To keep striving for that incorruptible crown, man. God. You know, not the corruptible crown. We gotta keep striving for the incorruptible crown, man. You know, that's that's in your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, not that corruptible crown of the world. You know, with these mortal thoughts. You know, we gotta put that away, man. Right. Well, we gotta look upon better things. Ooh, you know, affection. Yeah, Colossians three. I'm thinking of that spirit. Gotta hold it, bro. You gotta. Can't. Get that after, man. Yep, yep. That's what we gotta put our foot upon, man. Things of the kingdom of your how about shit me out shy. These moral thoughts, you know, these, these you know, all of these in, situations that you get in this kingdom, they ain't shit compared to what your how about shit me out shy has laid up for us, man. You know, mm. it ain't shit. It don't compare to what the Lord has prepared for us, you know, in the in the kingdom to come. Yeah. You know, and we gotta really set our minds. Shroud our minds in the things pertaining unto your house shy in the kingdom, man. Right. You know? Yeah. So back in Daniel 12, and it says, The children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. And that's that's gonna be a time on the earth. You know, unlike the, the, the unlike the which the earth has never seen, man. Right. You know, since there was a nation. Even when you go back to the time of Egypt And it tells you about the plagues of Egypt And how there was a great cry mm. Before the Lord delivered the Israelites From the hand of the Egyptians um, You know there was a great One of the great plagues I like to meditate on Was that there was, there was actually hail mingled with fire That came down in yeah, Egypt yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know and we can't forget About the angel of death yeah. You know we can't forget about that The great cry the, the, the firstborn 
Yeah. You know, and the cattle was all slain. Gone. You know, and, and, and the Lord delivered us from that, man. The Lord told us to put the blood of the lamb on the doorposts and that. Right. The angel of death passed over, man. Yeah. You know, so, hey, the time that's coming is going to eclipse that. Hey, Sodom and Gomorrah, it's going to eclipse that. Yeah. You know, the flood of Noah, we can't forget about that. There was only eight souls left right, right, on the right, earth, right, bro. Right, right. That's how the earth got repopulated. The, the eight souls that was left on the earth. You know, so we can't forget about these things. The Lord has have done great things for us, man. That's what the nations are gonna say in the kingdom. The Lord have done great things for them. Yeah. The scriptures tell you that in Psalms, man. We were like them that dream. Right. You know, it's, it, we're gonna be like it's gonna be like we're living in a dream in the kingdom, man. That's how things are gonna be. It's gonna be so bliss, right. so blissful in the kingdom, man. Because right now we're about to enter the extreme time of trouble. Right. So what's the balance of that? The kingdom. The extreme of blissfulness and paradise and peace yeah. on the earth. Because Yahweh Shai, one of his many titles is the Prince of Peace, man. That's right. Unlike Esau, he was set up to take peace from the earth. That's the red horse, Revelation yeah. 6 and 4. Yeah. So you see the balance, man? You got it, bro. That's it, that's it. And it says here, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Woo, that's right. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, man. Thy people shall be delivered. And who's that? The elect, man. That's it. You know, uh, uh, if you can jump to Matthew uh, 24 right. and verse 30, because we got to prove what we're saying, man. You know? Hey, because at the end of the day, hey, we got precept upon precept, line upon line. We need to tell you exactly who's going to be delivered. Because you got guys out there talking shit about all these other nations can make it. Or there's going to be five righteous wicked that's going to repent in the end yeah. and they're going to make it. No, fuck that, bro. Nah, that's not in the scriptures. And if it ain't in the scriptures, why teach it, man? That's right. You know, mark them that cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. We didn't learn that from the elders, right. elders and apostles. We learned that only the elect are going to be saved. And that's what we teach. Hey, if they speak not according to this, this word, word, it's because there's no, no light, light in, in them. them. That's right. You know? So it's easy to sell. It's easy to tell when someone is not illuminated with the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, why? Because they speak not according to the word. That's, that's right. something that they can't do, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's something we always got to take note of, man. Anyone that ain't speaking to the according to the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, they don't have the light. Yeah, you say to well, so where's that in the scriptures, brother? Right. Well, that's just what I, how I interpret, how I feel. Listen, man, we don't care about how you feel, man. Right. We want to see it in the scriptures, man. God. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately really wicked. wicked. Who can know it? You got sellouts. You got guys crept in unawares. You got all these kind of creeps among us, man. Some of the biggest creeps you will find are in Israel that know they're Israelites. Yeah, creeps. Yeah. Some of the biggest creeps that you will find that know those that know that they're Israelites. And a judgment's going to start at the house of those that know that they're Israelites. The house of Israel, man. That's right. The house of the Lord. So those that know that they're Israelites, man, they're playing games. And they crept in on that you're liking unto a thief and a robber to the Lord. Yeah. You know, and what, what do you do with a thief and a robber? You got certain laws in certain states over there well, in America. If it's, if a thief breaks in, like in the boys, boys in the hood, mm. remember Furious Styles? The thief came in through the window yeah. and he, he he blasted on his ass, man. Yeah, yeah. You know that the cop did you get him? You know what I'm saying? So hey, guess what, man? You're liking unto a thief. Ain't no one wanna no one wants a thief in their house. Right. You know, so you trying to climb up some other way, you're a creep, man. Yeah. Taking shit that don't belong to you, man. Trying to change up the doctrine. Who the fuck do you think you are, man? Right. Go on, bro. Matthew 24 and verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Mm -hmm. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> and, they, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds That's of right. heaven with power and great glory. And why does it say clouds, man? Yeah. You know, hey, when the disciples were Acts 1, when they were conversating with Yahweh Shai, yep. and behold what, he was taken up from them and a cloud received him oh, right. out of their sight. And they were gazing. Yep. You know, ye men of Galilee, the two angels, why stand you gazing into heaven? The same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven, man. Right. So that's how Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. And what's he coming to do? To gather what? The elect. That's it. Let me get that quickly in uh, Revelation 1 and 7 to back up. That's right, huh? the water, the this water. Is Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. That's right. And every eye shall oh, see him. Plural, clouds. Yeah. Yahweh Shai is coming with the armies, bro. You know? He ain't coming on his own. He's coming with a with an army of angels, bro. Overkill. Mm -hmm. You know? 
General Zud style, man. That's right. Gone, bro. And they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so am I. And that proves reincarnation as well, man. Those that pierced him, man. So Yahweh Shai, he ain't gonna be happy when he comes back, bro. You know, Yahweh Shai is gonna be pissed. Yeah. Those that pierced him, bro, you know, a thousand uh, years to us is as a day to the Lord. Yeah. So it's only been, what, just, what, two days since the Lord yeah. was crucified, man. Yeah. So he's pissed. So he's coming back for revenge. That anger is still fresh in his spirit, man. That's right. You know, so you don't want to mess around with your hell about Shimei Yahweh Shai. Because you got to think of what happened to our Lord. you could, you got to think of the suffering that our Lord endured, man, for our sakes. You know? And then, you, you know, you, you got, you got, you got um, people that want to play around, you know, with your how about Shimei Yahweh Shai. You, you, you better fear your how about Shimei Yahweh Shai, man. Because he's coming back to do some great damage. He's coming back with that righteous indignation, man. You know? So you, this is not a time for us to be playing around. This is a time for us to be getting serious in the spirit of your how about Shimei Yahweh Shai, man. You know? And fearing for our lives. I'm glad you know? You, yeah. I'm glad you said that determination. That's that Zephaniah 3 and... Um, 3 and 8. 3 and 8, man. Yeah. For my determination is to gather, gather the, the nations. nations. Yeah. That I may pour upon them, my, you know? Yeah. My indignation. Loosely paraphrasing, you know? God, God. That's that righteous anger. So the Lord is going to be angry, bro. He is angry. The scripture says the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Mm. You know? Just to, just to prove that point, you know? God, bro. Verse 31, Matthew 24. And he shall send his angels... With a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect mm -hmm. from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. I said the elect, man, and that's only of the children of Israel, man. Yeah. The elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, what did the apostle Paul say in Romans 11 and 7? What then Israel have not obtained it, which, which he seeketh for, mm. obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So this isn't given to everyone to receive. You know, it's only for the elect to receive, man, but the rest are going to be blinded, man. Isaiah 6 and 9. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day, man. Loosely paraphrasing, you know? So um, count it all blessings that we, you know, the Lord says, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, man. Yep. You know, so you've got this gift of faith that's been given to you, man, that's been delivered to you. A man can receive nothing except to be given in from heaven, right? Yep. Including faith. So, hey, earnestly contend for the faith. We're not in a time of kicking back, chilling back, relaxing. Things are turning the fuck up. A time of trouble such as never was is coming upon the earth, man. Yeah. Since there was a nation, we have to take this deadly seriously. Yeah. And we're seeing the signs of the Lord's return. Like I said, we just see it. Me and the brother just see a chariot, man. Yeah. A blazing chariot, just man. The speed was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Just shooting. It looked proper ethereal, man. It looked That's majestic, right. ethereal. Yep. You know, and he, to be honest, man, I felt it in my chest. I was like, damn, all that shit. You know. I was like, damn, what the hell is that, bro? And the brother saw it, and I'm so glad the brother saw it too. But we both saw it at the same time. You know, so you know you're not going crazy. Like, no, bro, we both yeah, saw that, man. In the mouth of two or three. Right. Two, uh, two or three witnesses, witnesses yeah. man, you know? That's right. You've seen that, man. So, call hello, you how about Shimei Shai? Yeah, how about Shimei man. You know? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, this is Isaiah 26 and verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, Jeez. and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself... As it were for a little moment Hide thyself man Hey this could you speak about what um, Oh man uh, He that dwelleth in the secret place, place of the, the most high Psalms 91 yep, yep, Shall yep, abide yep. under the shadow of the almighty Secret place man right. You know the Lord has hidden us man You know the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower man We've been hidden within that strong tower right. You know, and what's that secret place? Hey, it's this understanding the scriptures, man. Yep. Surely the Most High will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret yep. unto His servants, the prophets. The Lord said, "Yo, this is this is a come hide here." That's it. You know, the, and the, really the hiding, the ultimate hiding place when the Lord comes back and and, and puts us on that on That's that it. ship. That's it. You know, hey, a wise man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. God, bro. You know, how are we able to hide ourselves once again with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding? You know, we're able to hide ourselves from the judgment to come, man. You know, and Lord willing, we receive that far war. It's been spoken of in the what Ezekiel uh, nine and four. That's right. You know, yeah. Lord willing, we receive that far war, that, that that mark of exemption from the judgment of Yahweh Bar Shimei Shai. Why? Because we we we're, we've hidden ourselves through the Spirit. You know, by getting involved in the ministry, by doing the work in truth and sincerity, by going out there on the highways and the byways, being a part of the body. You know, we've been called, in, you know, into this truth. We've been, Lord willing, we've been chosen. You know, so we made the most of this, man. You know, every chance you get, 
you know, to do something good for the body, to be brotherly. That's right. You know, like 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 the, the title of the, the the video that the apostle and the elder done. You know, just be a brother, man. You know, it's very important, man. Just be a brother, man, because you know all of these, you know, all of these other ulterior things that you could be doing that could get us killed, man. That's it, man. That could get us killed, so we gotta make sure that we're staying in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, the scriptures call it the simplicity that's in Yahweh Shai, man. The simplicity. Now, we ain't gotta make this complicated, man. This, this, this is like an onto a marathon, man. Right. You know, this is about finishing the course, like running the race, right? It's like like onto a marathon. But Jake wanna do. You see, you run in a marathon. Jake wanna do roly polies backwards, man. Right. It doesn't make like what are you doing, bro? You wanna do? <laughs> you wanna cartwheel into someone else's lane? Right, you know what right, I mean? Right, what, right. What, what the fuck you doing, man? Right. You see someone running beside you. You know it's like a like a relay race. Someone's running beside you. Now you're all running the race. Right. You all want to finish, right? You want to you all want to finish the marathon, right? Right. But then guess what? You you sabotaging people left and right of you. Right. It don't make no sense. Just run and stay in your lane. Finish finish your race, man. Right. Right. right you know what right, I mean? Right. Like we hey, they seek your own salvation, man. Right. That's what this is really about, man. Because we all we're just trying to make it, man. You know, we want to be saved. That's what we're in this for. You know, we're we're in this to get on a on a on a chariot, man, on a ship. Yeah, how was I a ship? You know, and the only way we're gonna do that, man, is by staying. Hey, the scripture says charity cover of the multitude of sins. God. You know, being hey, just be a brother. Hey, being a brother is charity. You know, being a brother, you checking on a brother, you making sure that you you know you you, you stepping good with brothers, man. Mm. Helping brothers out. Don't add burdens to brothers. You know what I mean? Like, this could just speak about offending less. Yeah. Why do you want to add a... We've offended enough, man. You know what I'm saying? We've done offended enough, but we... So we got to offend less, man. That's the point. We're in this flesh. We fucking... We go off all the time, man. But we... we even though we've rehearsed the righteous acts, but we're not perfect. Because the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So enough with the offenses, man. We could, now we're in, we're in a time where another... One more offense could be... You, you could get smoked. Yeah. You know, yeah, one, yeah. one 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 next offense could be your ass, man. It could be your last offense. That, that's it. You know, <laughs> you know they got a free strike law. You don't know how many strikes you got, man. So you can't be assumptuous, man. Your next offense might be your last offense, man. Uh, how about that? That's crazy, man. And that, you know what? That should keep the fear of your how about Shin Yao Shai in your spirit. Just knowing that information alone, you know, we tread very careful. You know, in, in the presence of Yahweh Hashem Shai, in the presence of brothers, in the presence of men that you know may be of the elect, man. You know, because we don't know who we are until Yahweh Shai comes back. That's right. But you know, that's why your works are very important. The things that you do, the things that you say, you know, the, the conduct that you lead, mm -hmm. you know, it's very important, man, because it gives it gives it gives um it gives it gives a preview of who you may be, you know, in the future when Yahweh Shai comes back, man. Because you will know them by the works, man. That's by right. the things that they do, how they treat each other. You know? That's right, bro. This is um, Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah, that's it, man. Work out your own salvation, man. You know, with fear, man. Hey, this could just speak about the fear of the Lord. That's the beginning of wisdom, bro. Yeah. You know, so there's nothing wrong with fear in Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, bro. If you knew, if you really believed what Yahweh Shai is coming back to do, you know, then you would really fear the Lord, man. You know, you don't want to catch a laser beam, bro. You don't want to be fucking burning in fire. Okay, wouldn't you rather be on that ship? So think about, think about your survival, man. Think about you know you, you know you making it on a on a chariot, man. Don't don't think about the petty shit. Think about you know sacrificing the flesh in order to gain in the spirit, man. You know, and if you understood that scripture about charity covering a multitude of sins, you'd be making sure that the, every opportunity you get, you can be charitable, man. And chari charity comes in a, in a variety of ways. Even doing a video is charitable, man, because that's that's feeding the flock. That's the greatest charity. That's the greatest charity. Just do the, just do the work. Just do the work, man. Right, right. You know that's the yeah, exactly the prophecy, man. Be occupied in the meditation thereof. Be occupied in prophecies, man. Let's just speak about that, man. Yep. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, man. Let's just speak about the greatest, what the, uh, above all, charity, uh, uh, prophecy, the gift of prophecy, man. Yep. You know, uh, uh, prophecy. 
you know, uh, have fervent charity amongst yourselves. It's good to speak about these things, you know. Yeah, First Corinthians chapter fourteen and verse one. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy. That's the what. That's the what. You know, because uh -huh. you know sometimes you know that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you know, yeah. but yeah, but that's the spirit, bro. Uh -huh. you, you went straight to it, man. But rather that you may prophesy, man, and, and that's the that's the most important thing. Uh -huh. And you occupied in prophecy. You ain't got time. If you really on your minds on these prophecies, you're occupied in the prophecies. You really ain't got time to be doing anything else but thinking, seeing what's going on in the news and filtering it through the prophecies, man. Right. Oh shit, that prophecy's speaking. Shit, that prophecy's happening. Oh shit, look at Russia's being a guard onto the weaker nations. Oh shit, the weaker saying that they're strong. Yeah. Oh shit, the bear is on the move. They're poking at the bear. Russia's gonna shoot missiles on America. Listen, bro. Oh, the Lord's created a smith mm. that blow off the coat. That sword is about to come down upon Idumia. Man, we know, man, that that's what we're supposed to be focusing on. Go on, bro. So, Psalm 39 and verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof mm. will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. That's right, bro. So, we got to be occupied in prophecies, man. Everything, your whole being, your whole existence consumed. is to be, yeah, consumed and geared towards prophecy okay geared towards the sayings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man edification okay like the brother said you see an article you filter that through the scriptures man in 2nd Esther um, 9 from the top on down it tells us to measure down the time diligently how do we do that from going into prophecy man seeing what's happening in the world then we can get a gauge as to where we're at in the grand scheme of things concerning the return of our Lord and our Saviour our King our big brother, Yahweh Shai, man. That's right, that's right. You know? That's right. Yeah, give your mind to... It didn't say give your mind to the world. Right. It didn't say that. Give your mind to being a nigger. It didn't say that, bro. It said give you... Hey, be occupied. It didn't say be occupied in worldly shit. God. You know? The lust of the flesh. That's of the world, man. You know? That's sensual, man. Devilish. Mm. You know, the scriptures tell you that. Sensual are they. Having not the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Don't be yeah, a yeah. carnal meathead, man. You're just walking around... Pissing brothers off for the fuck of it. Right. Don't be doing that shit, man. You know? I just don't oh, I don't give a fuck. That's just me. Yeah. Like you, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck are you, bro? Right. Chill out, relax, man. Let's just look, bro. Keep it simple, stupid. Remember that saying? Right. Just keep it simple, man. The yeah. simplicity that's in your hour shy, bro. Let's go, man. Um what's, what's so? um uh, what's it called? Colossians 3? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bubba yeah. Kushar, man. I, I must, you know, because I want to go into that real quick, man. And then we can just wrap it up, you know? Right, right. Because, hey, we got to push this vibration of, you know, the prophecies, Yahweh Shire coming back. Yeah. That's the righteous vibration that, hey, the Lord is pleased with that. Yeah. We hey, we have faith that the Lord is pleased. As the Lord's eye, the, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, man, guess what? The eyes of the Lord are also upon the prophets and what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Also marking down what you're doing right now, man. You know? And we want to be able, hey, just speak about having done all to what? To stand. Yeah. You know? You got it, bro. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1. And it reads, If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above. Seeking the things which are above. If we then be risen, what does that mean to be? Yahweh Shai is going to beam us out of here, man. That's right. If we then be risen with Yahweh Shai, because that's the goal. That's the we want to be risen with Yahweh Shai, man. You know, even if we got to die in this truth. Those that are dead in Yahweh Shai, we can close out on 1 Thessalonians 4 as well. Yeah. yeah? But if we then be risen with Yahweh Shai, seek what? It says, if we then be risen with Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, seek those things which are above, mm -hmm. where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. And that's where Yahweh Shai is right now, man. Yeah, yeah. He's on the right hand, and Stephen saw that, saw that man. Sorry, man. You know, when he got stoned, he looked up and the Lord showed, showed him. Yahweh Shai on the right hand side of Yahweh, man. Yep. Okay, so that's where Yahweh Shai is right now. And he's and the day of the Lord burns in his heart. He can't wait to come down here. And guess what? It's balanced. Because he's gonna save his elect, he's gonna deliver the elect, and he's gonna destroy the wicked, man. Mm. You know, the wicked of our people too. They're gonna get fucked up. Right. Clean cold. Go on, bro. Verse 2. Set your affection on things above. Mm -hmm. Not on things on the earth. Not on things on the earth, man. So don't be fucking sensual out here man like a brute beast right because the word sensual goes into like animalistic like a brute 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Having not the spirit, man. You just you ain't walking in the spirit. Carnival. Don't be like that, bro. Yeah. You know, like beasts, you know, they just they, they fuck any way they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're just walking around pissing up trees yeah. like dogs, just pissing up trees everywhere and shit. Which they're programmed to do that. But it's like we're not like, come on, bro. Like we we gotta like do better than that. Yeah. We 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 gotta move in the spirit, bro. Yeah. The scriptures say to abstain from um, fleshly lust, mm -hmm. which war against your soul. You know, so we gotta avoid being carnal. You gotta tame yourself, man. Right. You gotta tame yourself to constantly strive to remain in the spirit of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, we gotta try our our best with all our spirit, man, to remain in the spirit and not be carnal and given over to fleshly things. No always wants to be tantalized, man. You know, you always want to be tantalized. You want to always feel good. It's not about that. The scriptures talk about them smooth things. That's for the churches, man. That's for these demonic churches out here, man. You know, we, 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 we're living a reality of what really is going on through the spirit, man. You know, we're not we're not living a fake world. We're living through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so we got to be spiritual, man. We got to take heed onto the words of Yahweh Shai. That's right. I believe it even goes on to say that our life is hid. Khan, Khan, Khan. Verse 3. For ye are dead. That's the next verse. Yeah. That's spirit. And your life is hid with Hamashiach in Yahweh. And that's it, bro. Our life is hid, man, in, in, in Yahweh Shai, bro, because he's gonna he's gonna save us out of here, bro. Yeah. And ultimately, man, hey, we you know we take heed onto this word, and within this word is life. John 6 and 63. You know, it's a spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. Yeah. You know, that's why the flesh is of the world, man. Mm. Yeah, how much I prayed for the elect? He said, look, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Right. The friendship of the world is enmity with the Lord. So we got to separate ourselves with the sensual, earthly, carnal pleasures, man. Right. The fashion of this world passeth away, man. Right. Fashion, like, you know, one thing's in, next minute, another thing's in. It's yeah, gone. Yeah. Here, one minute, gone the next. The fashion of this world is no different. God. It's here one minute Esau's kingdom's here It's going to be gone It's going to be like a bad nightmare God, You know Let me read verse 3 in the NLT as well Come on, bro. It's heavy man We read this at the camp yeah. yesterday So that's the spirit That's right You know So this is verse 3 Colossians 3 And this is in the NLT version For you died To this life And your real life Is hidden With Hamashiach In your house that's right, man. So this is just a test. It's just a test. You know, they say we're dead to this. Man, an old man is dead, man. You, people see that you used to know and, oh, shit, like, oh, I heard you teaching the Bible now. They don't even, you're a new man. Yeah. You know, you, you, you separated your soul from the, from the affairs of the old man, man. It, the outward man perished. Right. You know, the inward man is supposed to be getting renewed day by day, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, the old nigga's dead, bro. He's dead. You know? Dead. Now, of course, it's a it's a progress. While we're you know we're we're killing ourselves daily. We're killing the old man on a daily basis. The more we learn, the more we become infused through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. But then you gotta make sure you don't have moments where you're digging up the body of that old man, you know, and, and resuscitating him from time to time. Yes, that's you right. You know, you don't want to do that. Just keep him dead. Keep him in that grave, man, because he ain't needed no more. Yeah. Hey, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But in the end, those are the ways of death. Those are the ways of death, man. You know, because that with outside of this understanding, that's why I was going into John 6 and 63. Okay. You know, the man that wondereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation Nation of the dead. dead. So that's you are right. like you, you you know, we're dead to this world, man. We are, man. You know, we're dead to this world and our life is hid in Yahweh Shai, bro. Okay. You know? And that's why we pray that we you don't take that Holy Spirit from us. Okay. You know? Because we don't want to return back to the weak and beggarly elements. Mm. You know, because those those ways lead on to death. Yeah. You got niggas out here thinking that they're doing it. They're in that do as thou wilt spirit, but that's gonna lead on to their death. They're they already they're the walking dead. Right, you know? Yep. Oh, right, so it says, when Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. That's right. You know, so only when Yahweh Shah returns, that's when we're gonna partake in that glory, because the scripture says that we're uh, joint heirs, okay? Yep. But we, we, this, everything's got to be done in order. Yahweh Shai's got to receive his glory first, man, and then we're going to be risen up with him, man. Yes. But you got to wait, you got to be patient, all right? And that's why the scripture says, you know, woe to him that have lost patience, man. You don't want to lose patience. 
You know, you want to stay in the spirit and patiently wait upon the return of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. I'm glad you said that, bro, because the word patience means to suffer. Suffer, God. Yep, so I would, hey, this truth is about suffering, man. It ain't easy. The truth is about suffering, bro. Yeah. You know, the more you grow in the spirit, man, it, and it's good to speak about he that increases in knowledge, increases in sorrow, man. God, God. Yahweh Shai, a hair full of grays, at, 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 what, in his 30s, hair full of gray hair, man. Yeah. You know, that's our Lord. You know, they called him a, a man gluttonous, a wine. They said he was a wine bibber. Yeah, yeah. He drank a lot of wine. He was under a. Hey, it's good to speak about wine was made to make men glad. Yeah. He was going through a lot of stress, man. The, the stuff that he was going through, man. Mm. And we're following after the Lamb, whether so wherever he goeth. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. Yeah. You know? And that's why, hey, hey, hey woe unto you when men shall speak well of you, man. Yeah. You know, but blessed are you when men shall separate you from their company. That's, That's a blessing, bro. So we're gonna we're gonna catch hell in this truth, man. You know, Sirach two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And that's just what it is, serving the Lord, man. That's it. You know, but while we get that temptation, they don't give us a, you know, a, use not your liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Yeah. You know, or a cloak uh, as a cloak malicious. of maliciousness. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. on, bro. Don't be malicious, man. Yeah, you got it, bro. Uh, what's it, uh, First Thessalonians? Yep, let's get yeah, that. and then we can just wrap it up, man. Because, um, hey, we got us, hey, wherefore comfort, it speaks about the comfort, you know, at the uh, last verse. First Thessalonians 4, and um, where did you want it from? 13? Uh, start from, uh, we think that's the last one, uh, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise, caught up together with him in the, okay, in the okay, clouds, okay, meet okay. him in the clouds. Should be like the, the, the third from last verse or something. Can't. I'll start from verse um, fifteen. Yeah, first, first Thessalonians chapter four and verse fifteen. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord mm -hmm. shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. And the dead, so even if you got to die in this truth, yep. the dead in in Yahweh Shai so gonna, is going to rise first. You can't prevent them which are asleep. Mm. You know, remember uh, who was it there when Yahweh Shai said, "Oh, um, uh, she is not dead, but she's sleeping." But she's sleeping. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, was yeah. it the, was it uh, the girl that was sleeping? This girl, yeah. You know, that was sleeping. You know, so when yeah, you, you, you just you sleep, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, that's, you know, and we understand death, you know, the, our spirit just goes back to the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah. But the Lord, hey, when the Lord got crucified, you had, you, had, you had people rising up out of their graves. Wow. And that proves, hey, the Lord, hey, man, the Lord can do, he's going to make work some great miracles out here, bro. Yep. So even if we've got to die in this truth, guess what? The Lord can raise us back up, and he will. That's it. You know? That's it. It's yeah. been written, right? Yeah. The dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. That's it. Yep. And, you know... There were a lot of spooky things, mysterious things, you know, miraculous things happening during that time period. But you know what? It's going to get amplified 10 times more in these last days. That's right. You know, we're in some very heavy times right now. So get prepared to see miracles. Get prepared to experience miracles. Get prepared for your how about Shimmy Yahweh Shai to raise that standard when that flood comes in, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because all of these things are going to happen. And the Lord is going to give, give us the spirit to deal with these things and to take them in as they're happening, man. He's going to give us the spirit to deal with it, man. Yeah. You know? He's going to give brothers the spirit to do miracles. You know? To heal people, to heal brothers that need healing, man. You know? All of these things are going to happen, man. So we've got to prepare for these great things that Yahweh about Shimei Al Shai is about to manifest upon the earth, man. You know? The scriptures speak about, you know, apparitions. You know? Get ready to see that too. Things are going to get spooky. We're in the time of uh, Halloween right now, man. And it's been a very spooky weekend, man. You know? A lot of judgment has been going forth throughout the four corners of the globe. A lot of spirits have been summoned back to the spiritual realm, man. The Lord ain't playing around. Oh, you what? It's South Korea. South Korea. Uh, 150 plus people dead. Right. I think it was in India. Some, India You know, as people well. died over it. 50 people dead over in India. Man, come on, bro. Come on. The spirit of death is in the air, man. So it's true. The black brother was saying, on point, it's a very spooky time, man. Judgment's going forth, so we should fear even more. Right. You know, because we don't want to get caught up in that judgment, man. We no. pray like, like like you said earlier about the Thalwar, the exemption from judgment. Yeah. You know, we're, hey, we're hey, we're just worms, bro. You know, and that's why we can't beat our chest like King Kong, like we're like we're just high and mighty. No, we 
we're just worms, bro. We're just vessels of the Lord. We pray the Lord never stops using us as, you know, like utensils. Yeah. Like, you know, you sit at a dinner table, you got your knife and fork. We're just utensils, man. You know? Yeah. Hey, what will be unto us if we preach not the gospel, right? Yeah. Just teach the keep, teach the gospel, man. That's it. Teach the good news. Why not? It's good news, man. That's simplicity, man. That's right, bro. Yeah. Right, this is the last verse. Verse 17, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Come. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Yep, there goes the word clouds again. The so-called yep. UFOs, man. That's you know, right. caught up together with them in the clouds. Go on. To meet the Lord in the air. Yep. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And that's it, man. Comfort one another with these words, man. You know, so that's how Yahweh Shai is coming back to say his elect. Like the brother just read in Matthew 24 and 30 and 31. Yeah. You know, we're going to meet the Lord in the air, with the, in the cloud. You know, the, the, the gigantic fathership, man. And that's our hope, man. As we are prisoners of hope, man. Yeah. So keep on hoping, brothers, man. Yeah, man. You Go know? Through, man. Who shall, so. who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai, man? Keep, mm. keep hoping, man. Keep fighting that good fight of faith. Right. You know, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom, man. This ain't no cakewalk. It's going to get worse. Buckle up, man. Yeah. But Yahweh Shai, you know, he's got us, man. Yahweh Bar Shai right. has got us, man. we just seen a beautiful spiritual sign today, and that's an indicator. We are at the end. The Lord's got us. He's watching. He's recording. He's watching us, bro. So stay strong. Stay spiritual, man. Right. Right. You know? That's right. That man, you know, you ain't got any other. No, nope, that's it, man. Yeah. Allah, Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shaila. The brother says, stay strong, stay spiritual. You know, cease without praying. You know, all of that good stuff, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, let's strive, let's strive yeah, for the pray mastery, without ceasing. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Pray without ceasing, man. That's the most important right. thing. Pray unto Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shaila, man. If you feel like you're low in faith, pray for more faith, man. You that's know, right, man. pray for what you need, man. Pray for the spiritual gifts through the spirit and power of Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shaila, man. You know. That's all I got to say, bro. That's right, bro. That's right. At some point, that's right, bro. Anyway, with that, man. So we are gonna say, you know, Brakata Yahweh, Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakaku Dash. You know, a double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Double honors. You know, and Shalawam as always. Shalawam to the elect, man. Stay up. Stay strong. Shalawam.